Hey! Million Thoughts a Minute, Alex here, and uh, welcome back to my channel. This is gonna be one of these stocky ones again. So if you don't know who I am, I'm Alexander B. Flores. I am a second year college student. If you wanna know more about me or wanna are entertained by my videos, make sure to subscribe down below. And now that that's done, let's get into the video. So in a previous video, or in my last video, I said this. I have shifted courses. I am no longer in the course of engineering, but in communication arts. Now, I gravitated towards this question because I kind of want to talk more about it. This video is going to talk about it. Now, this topic may be interesting for some people, it may be very boring for some people, I just want to talk about it just to help people like me, uh, people who are in college or upcoming freshmen or upcoming high school people who are going to college, just so that they have a little bit of insight with the whole course thing. A little, a little bit more background, I used to study computer engineering at my university, the DLSU, the La Salle University, I, and I studied under that course for two years, about six terms. Now some people may be asking, why did you, you, you already committed so much time to computer engineering, why did you choose to leave it? You had two years already and why did you choose to leave it? Why did you just commit and go through with it? Well, um, the first two years usually of any uni is uh, dedicated mostly for general education subjects. It was still during that time frame where I could still make up my mind on what I really want to do. I made up my mind and I just chose not to go through with computer engineering. I know that computer engineering was is a very uh, in-demand course, pays well. Some people may ask, hey, why did you why did you gravitate from computer engineering to communication arts? Now I have a lot of these frequently asked questions to people like me who shift from computer engineering to a more not unsure course of communication arts. But to those people, I like to say it is not an unsure uh, job. A lot of companies and a lot of work has to, re has to revolve around a narrative, a story, co communication between people. And so I think it's not, it's not a horrible choice. It's not a horrible switch. But I have other questions like, uh, did you leave engineering because you were bad at it? Or were you just... Were you failing? And the answer to that really is, I wasn't really failing, more so than I lost my purpose in studying it. And until now, I always had this love for math and science, and I always love to explore and learn, and, I, and I've always liked to expand my knowledge in almost everything. And math and science was one of those things I excelled in. I thought to myself, and when, when applying for like the big four universities here, uh, La Salle, Ateneo, De Manila, UST, UP, I thought to myself, okay, if I'm going to apply for these colleges, I must have a career choice or career-oriented course and a passion-oriented course. A course that will give me a prosperous future and a course that I am passionate about, or at least I think I am passionate about. My first choice for most of the universities was something computer slash science slash engineering related. So I got into the La Salle and I was like, this is this school is the best for what I want, which was my which was engineering. I spent the six month summer that I had beforehand building my computer, uh, learning about computer parts. I'm just like all stud pre studying before I even enter college. But come college time, and when I did start studying, I just it there like a like a switch flipped in my head. I was not happy anymore when I started studying engineering. And it just I just lost my motivation to keep on going. And I keep I kept asking myself why do I keep doing this even if it makes me sad? Like why would I continue if it makes me miserable? So I came to the conclusion near like in the beginning of my second year of in college that I would want to shift. And so for two terms, I waited, and I waited, <laughs> and uh, come the third term of this year, of my second year, I applied, and I got in. And it, 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 the feeling is, 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 I can't, I can't hold on to that, like, I got in, like, I finally got to shift, but, you know, each course has its problems. Why did I stop? 
you know, studying for a course that would get me so much money in the future towards Comar communication arts. Why did I choose Comar arts? It was the closest thing to filmmaking that I could get at my university. Because I really want to be a filmmaker when I grew up. Like, or anything in production really. Like I could be behind the camera, I could be the editor, VFX, I don't care. As long as I'm in that industry, I want to be able to tell narratives in a special and a different way. Maybe in the future I'll go into like uh, why I think why I want to be a filmmaker so bad, like why I love movies so much. But in this video, I think my explanation is suffice for you guys to understand uh, where I'm coming from. It also kind of helps that you know communication arts. This I don't really need to be stuck in a office the whole day because that's I don't want that at all for my line of work. I don't want to be stuck in an office at all. So yeah, that's it. That's 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 the video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my story. Um, I hope it wasn't too boring to listen to. I hope my explanations and my my speech was well enough for you to understand. Yeah, I just wanted to get that off my chest. I wanted to talk to you guys about it. Uh, if you guys are, if any of you are high school students who want to go into college and still don't know what to do, or if you're in college and still don't know what to do, feel free to comment down below. I've encountered a lot of people in my uni uh, who still are lost in what they want to do and what they want to be in the future. So I have some experience uh, myself and with others uh, talking about this kind of thing. So I'm here to help if you need any. Okay. This is the end card uh, vid part of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. Uh, subscribe down below, like, share, favorite. If you want to keep updated to the moment I upload, make sure to click the little bell icon and uh, to follow me on all the social media. Click on all the buttons if you want to watch more of my stuff. Thanks for watching. Uh, catch you the next time. Bye.